it's Dr. Jen and today we're going to talk to you guys about what are some of the things that are helpful to add to your traditional first aid kit from more of a natural perspective. So most of us have our normal first aid kit, thermometers, EpiPens, those kind of things and those are wonderful and very much needed but there are other things that you can add to your kit that can enhance it and things that you should have on hand before you or your family members get sick. So um, let's just start with essential oils. If you've guys seen my videos before, you know I love essential oils. We use them in our house for just about everything and they have a ton of useful properties when you are not feeling well. Um, we like to use peppermint when we can't breathe in our house or um, eucalyptus. This other thing that is really nifty and handy to have um, by doTERRA is the Vapor Breathe Stick. Wonderful. A good swap out instead of using Vicks Vapor Rub. This has no chemicals. This has no petroleum. It's much safer and smells wonderful. Helps you breathe at night. I could do an entire video on essential oils, but we don't have time for that. Um, we're just going to touch on some of the things that I think that were helpful. So anyway, essential oils are a must in my book. Another thing that happens is your kids can wake up and, and have a horrible cough and you, you, know, you run to the drugstore and you try to find a cough syrup that doesn't have dyes or chemicals or stimulants or things that your child's going to react to. And one that really, really works well, and I haven't experienced any side effects with, um, is the Olba's cough syrup. You can pick this up at most drugstores. If not, you certainly can get it online. And it seems to work well for our family. And uh, it does not have chemicals in it. So the other issue that I get with a lot of you guys, it's two o'clock in the morning, your baby is screaming because maybe they're suffering with a horrible ear infection and it's not the best time to get to your doctor. Garlic and Eulene eardrops are a lifesaver. They are designed for exactly that, ear infections. And having this on hand, I'm telling you, is one of the best things when you're in a pinch. Garlic itself is a great autoimmune support, immune support, excuse me, not autoimmune support, immune support. Um, it has a ton of benefits and having this on hand is great, especially if you're suffering with a horrible sore throat. So this is great. Elderberry syrup is also wonderful to have if you don't have the time to make it. I know a lot of you guys actually make elderberry syrup on your own, but if you're like me, you don't have the time to do stuff like that. Elderberry syrup is great for colds, flus, coughs, just not feeling well. Another wonderful thing to have. Um, let's see here. Back to more of the first aid kind of stuff. Correct is a wonderful ointment if you get burned, stung, anything like that. Um, it's kind of analogous to Neosporin, but it's not, there's no chemicals in it. So this is something you might want to try. What else? Oh, Rescue Remedy. Bach Rescue Remedy is wonderful if your child or you're having an allergic reaction, if your child's very anxious and can't calm down. Um, wonderful to have on hand. Nux Vomica is a homeopathic remedy that we use often in my house. It's great, especially when traveling. If you have um, excuse me, vomiting or diarrhea, it definitely helps calm those symptoms down. Arnica is another one that I think everyone should have. And I think everyone should put in their um, child's bag if they participate in any sports as well. Arnica will definitely help uh, upon taking it upon an injury. It will help bruising and swelling of the area, um, anywhere in the body actually. And you can also use Arnica in the, more of the tube kind of form, like the gel form, or even the oil form, which you can see we use a lot in our house. Um, which one is this one? This is another Arnica. Apparently I like Arnica. 
Um, cough drops, there's definitely better choices than Halls or the commercial cough drops. You can get uh, essential oil infused cough drops. These are Breathe. And like anything else, you really should have other things on hand um, than just your traditional first aid kit. And just to, for my little disclaimer here, obviously you should talk to your doctor if you have any any questions or you know you're allergic to anything, please don't take anything that you know that you have a sensitivity to. But I just thought I'd take a moment to give you an idea of what works in our family, what might help you in your family. If you have um, any wonderful things that you use for your family from a natural perspective and you wanna leave a message below, that's great. If you have any questions on how I use any of these, leave me a message below and I will gladly answer that as well. Uh, I hope this helps, thanks.